guys so I'm back and as I was getting ready for work this morning I decided to just go ahead and film a get ready with me video I think these are easy and quick to film and you guys seem to enjoy them I'm still gonna do regular tutorials so don't worry about that these are just easy ways to film and get content out to you guys so one of the reasons I wanted to film this get ready with me video is that I am trying out a new technique with the makeup geek foiled eyeshadows because I did a review on them they crease on me I can't get them to not crease so I decided to test out a new technique to see if they would actually stay in place all day so this is a test run of that technique yeah so we're gonna see how that works and I'll update you to tell you how the wear was for these if they did indeed stay in place so if you want to see this get ready with me video then stay tuned and I'll talk to you soon Hey guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is grab my MAC Prep and Prime 24 hour extend eye base and I'm going to apply this all over my eyelids and also in my eyebrows to act as an eyeshadow base and also a base for my eyebrow products. Then I'm going in with my brow waist from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the shade dark brown and I'm just going to fill in my brows with this pencil. And if you do want to see a complete eyebrow tutorial, I do have one linked below so you can see how I fill in my brows and get some tips and tricks from there. Once I'm done with my brows, I'm going in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I'm going to spritz this all over my skin to prep my skin for the base makeup. And I'm going to grab my Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. This is the shade Medium Dark Warm. And I'm just going to blend that down using my Anastasia Number no. 18 brush. This is going to clean up the shape of the brow as well as add a highlight. And then I'm going to buff out the edges using my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush just to make sure there are no harsh lines. Now for my eyeshadow base, I'm grabbing my Scandalize Eyeshadow Stick from Remmel. This is in the shade number 15, Trespassing Taupe. And it's a waterproof pencil, so this is going to help our eyeshadow stay in place all day. And again, I'm just going to blend that out with my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush just to make sure we have a nice, seamless blend. I didn't like the concealer under my brows, so I'm grabbing my Pro Longwear Concealer from MAC instead. This is the shade NW35, and with the same brush, just blending it out. This one gives better coverage, and it just looks and feels a lot better under my brows. So I'm going in with that instead of the Urban Decay version. Then for a concealer under my eyes, I'm grabbing my Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. This is shade number 12. And I'm just going to blend that in with a Sedona Lay Synthetic Brush. This is a great waterproof concealer, again, and it is budge-proof, smudge-proof, and crease-free. So I'm just going to blend that in under my eyes and make sure I get into the inner tear duct area as well. And even blend a little bit on my brow bone area. For my eyeshadows, I'm grabbing the Tarte Tartlet Palette and the shade Wanderer from the palette. This is a neutral shade on an IT Cosmetics blending brush and just blending that into my brow bone and crease area. And this is going to act as our transition or blending shade in the crease so we can blend our shimmery colors against that color without going too far up on the brow bone. For the lid shade, I'm grabbing Grandstand Foiled Eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and a Real Techniques number no. 200 Bowl Metals brush. And I'm grabbing my Smashbox Primer Water and making sure I spritz that brush first. Grab the eyeshadow on the brush and then apply it all over the lid. And this primer water is going to help with the eyeshadow adhering to the lid as well as helping with longevity so it doesn't crease as bad throughout the day. I'm just going to keep spritzing the brush and applying this eyeshadow. Then I'm going to clean the brush off and go around the edges of the eyeshadow just to blend it upwards so there are no harsh lines on the crease area. Then I'm grabbing the shade Mesmerize, also from Makeup Geek, and I'm using the other side of the brush, again spritz the brush, and I'm applying this on the outer lid area and blending it inwards with the Grandstand shade. And this is, these two shades are actually really beautiful shades, I have the least crease in with these, but I'm trying this new technique to see if they do stay in place longer using a primer water and a waterproof base as well. Now just go ahead and blend out the edges into the crease area and again we have that matte shade down so the blending is going to be a little bit easier 
And since we have that matte shade down, I'm hoping the eyeshadows won't crease throughout wear. Then I'm going back to the Tartlet palette. I'm grabbing the shade Best Friend, which is a deep rosy brown shade on an It Cosmetics brush and applying this on the outer crease area. Then going in with the shade Bombshell, which is a deeper kind of plummy purple brown and applying that in the outer V area again with the same brush. Then I'm going to wipe off the brush and go in and blend the eyeshadows out so we have a nice seamless gradient from dark to light. I'm grabbing the same brush that we used for the transition shade. It's a fluffier blending brush and just going around the edges to make sure that we fade out the edge of that dark shadow. Then I'm going to go in and grab the shade Caregiver which is just a light pale pink shade and some of the Force of Nature shade which is a neutral and popping that underneath my brows using a matte 252 large shader brush just to give a simple subtle highlight without being too overwhelming. Then for mascara, I'm going in with my Clinique High Impact Mascara. This is just the deluxe sample size, and I'm going to just apply mascara to my top lashes, making sure that I make them nice and full because we're not going in with false eyelashes. For my foundation, I'm grabbing my Nude Air Foundation from Dior, and I'm making sure I shake those bottles together. These are two shades, number 40 and number 50. I have to mix them to get my perfect shade, and then I'm just going to buff that over my skin using my Zoeva number 102 silk finish foundation brush just making sure I get all the points on my skin and blend that really well all over my skin to get a nice even full coverage. I didn't quite like how that mascara worked out so I'm grabbing my Voluminous Carbon Black from L'Oreal which is my favorite drugstore mascara and applying that again onto my lashes to build up the volume and give me nice full rich black lashes and since this is a get ready with me you can see where I clean up any smudges using a q-tip just to clean up any black marks from the mascara lashes I'm going in with the MAC extended play giga black lash which is a great lower lash mascara I'm surprised I really like this mascara for my lower lashes it builds them up and the brush is small enough so it gets into the little nooks and crannies. On my lower lash line, I'm grabbing my number 930 Black Purple Eyeshadow from Makeup Forever on a MAC 212 brush. And I'm just going right against the lower lashes just to give them some added drama and build up like a little smoky look on the lower lash line. Then I'm blending that out with a large 252 shader brush from MAC. For my lower waterline, I'm grabbing my Perversion 24-7 Glide-On Pencil from Urban Decay, which is just a rich matte black, and applying that to my lower waterline. Then I'm going in with the Mesmerized shade from Makeup Geek and just applying it right over the purple that we have down on the lash line to give it a shimmery appeal. Now I'm going to set my foundation using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation. This is the shade Medium Dark Golden, and I'm going in with an It Cosmetic LBD bronzer brush. This is from the Velvet Luxe line. It's a great dense brush and is perfect for pouncing powder onto the skin and really pressing it in without disturbing the liquid foundation. Then to finish up the brows, I'm grabbing my brow set from MAC. This is in the shade Brown Ebony and it's just going to hold my brow hairs in place as well as add a little bit of color to some sparse areas and fill in the gaps where we may have missed with the brow pencil. Then I'm going in with my Paula Dorf eye definer brush. This is a flat brush and really working that product through the front of my brows. After stepping back and looking at the eyes, I decided I needed some eyelashes. So I grabbed some simple ones. These are the Style Shy from Kiss. These are nice, light, really natural looking lashes and I'm just going to apply those to my upper lashes and I'm using the I Make You Beautiful Lash Glue which is a black tinted glue. It is latex free. And I've really been liking it because it hasn't been irritating my eyes at all. Some of these non-latex glues still irritate my eyes. So this is a great alternative if you're thinking about getting a different lash glue. Then I'm going in with my S Curler from Shuamora. This a lot of people ask me about. I just use this to blend my natural lashes with the fake eyelashes. Then for my lips, I'm grabbing my Sheer Lip Gel from Marc Jacobs. This is in the shade Role Play. And then I'm going to top that with a YSL Tintin Oil in number 6. Beautiful, beautiful lip combination. 
And then for my blush, of course, I'm going in with my number five blush from Black Up. This is my all-time favorite brush. Just blending that on the tops of my cheeks using my Zoeva blush brush. Then for a contour, back to Marc Jacobs. I'm using the High Def Contour Duo, and I'm going to apply that just to the hollows of my cheeks to give myself some definition. And for my highlight, I'm using the Lorac Tantalizer Baked Bronzer. Beautiful shade on my darker skin. And that is going to finish up the face look. Alright guys, so hopefully you enjoyed the Get Ready With Me video. As usual, I'll leave a full list of products used down below in the, what is this hand movement, in the description box. So if you missed anything, definitely check down there. There's tons of information. Always check the description box. If you're asking for a certain video, I might have already linked it. So definitely check in the description box. And I'll also leave links to my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages where you can follow me along. And until my next video, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you. Bye!